Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering a large um, potential tornado outbreak tomorrow across areas of the Midwest. But we're going to be starting with today because we do have a slight risk of severe weather across portions of northeast Kansas, northern uh, Missouri, far southwest Iowa, and southeastern Nebraska today. And these include areas like Kansas City and Lincoln, Nebraska. So, taking a look at our tornado threat, we have a less than 2% chance of tornadoes within 25 miles of a location in all areas today. So, this is a very good uh, good thing. And then for our wind, we have a 5% chance of damaging winds of 58 miles per hour stronger in this brown region across parts of west Oklahoma and south central Kansas. And then our hail threat is going to be the main threat today in, this, in the slight risk area with a 15% chance of quarter-sized hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in this yellow area, 5% chance in the brown. The main focus of this video is going to be tomorrow's poten potential tornado outbreak. So looking at the Storm Prediction Center's convective outlook for tomorrow, there is an enhanced risk of severe weather across northern Arkansas, most of Missouri, central in southwestern Illinois, far northeastern Oklahoma, and a slight risk covering east Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, almost all of the rest of Missouri. Uh, about 60% of Illinois, far western Kentucky and Tennessee, and then there, uh, much of Arkansas. So uh, what's going to be happening is we're going to be having a low pressure swing up from uh, Colorado, and it's going to be moving across Nebraska and Iowa tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be dragging a cold front across these regions, and you you have a ton. You're going to, it's going to be uh, merging with a ton of warm, moist air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And looking at our tornado threat, we have a 10% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a location in the yellow area. And this includes areas like Joplin, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri, and St. Louis, Missouri. And what's even more concerning is this black hatched region, which is a ten percent, or yeah, a ten percent chance, or or higher of a uh, strong or violent tornado, EF two to EF five tornado within twenty five miles of a location, and. So this uh, hatched region is very significant because we're looking at the threat of of dangerous tornadoes in in this area. Then of course there's a five percent chance within 25 miles of the location in the brown. This includes Little Rock, Arkansas, Memphis, Memphis Tennessee. A two percent chance in the in the green region. So we're looking at uh, looking in terms of population, we have. 5.5 million people in the 10% risk, 7.6 million people in the 5% risk, 5.7 million in the 2% risk, and a 5.2 million people in the uh, area that has the chance of seeing violent tornadoes. So a significant amount of people under the threat for dangerous weather tomorrow. And this is not even, and this is not even the only threat. We're taking a look at our damaging wind threat. In the red area, there's a 30% chance of 58 miles per hour stronger winds within 25 miles of a point. In the black hatched area is a 10% or greater probability of 75 mile per hour. Hurricane forced, straight line winds are stronger. And again, northern Arkansas, southeast and central Missouri, including St. Louis and Springfield, under the Threat for uh, major damaging winds tomorrow, 15% in the yellow with Little Rock and Memphis, and then 5% in the brown. And then again, our population, several million people, 6 million, 6.5 million in the highest risk area, 4.8 million people under the threat of hurricane force winds. And then finally, our hail. 30% chance of quarter size hail or larger in the red, 15% in the yellow, and 5% in the brown. So we're looking at all severe modes very likely tomorrow across the Missouri-Arkansas region and into Illinois. 
So any tornado warnings are issued, be, be sure to go to an interior room or to a basement. Make sure to monitor your local weather stations closely tomorrow and stay safe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like and have a wonderful afternoon.